everyone. We're given two functions, and we're going to find the inverses of both of these and then evaluate them with the uh, inverse of g of 5, and we're going to add uh, h inverse of 2. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is find the inverses of both of these functions. So uh, the first one is this one here. So let's look at that one. We want to find the inverse, and so I'm going to rewrite this as y equals 5e to the 4x minus 1. And then we also want to evaluate, uh, this was our g, so we want to evaluate, this is your g of x. The inverse of g at 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the inverse, and basically what you do is you switch the x and the y. And you do, there's different ways to do this, but I'm going to do it this way on this one. And at this point, this is your inverse. This is your inverse. We haven't even solved for y or anything like that. So right there is your inverse the minute you switch the x and the y. So what I'm going to do on this one is go ahead and input my x. My x is 5, so I'm going to input my 5 equals 5e five e to the 4y minus 1 power. Divide both sides by 5, so I'm going to get 1 equals e to the 4y minus 1. Now I'm going to write this as, um, uh, we're just going to take ln of both sides. You get ln of 1 equals ln of e to the 4y minus 1. Well, ln of 1 is 0. And then um, I'm going to use my power property and bring that in front times ln of e. ln of e equals 1. OK, so we just cross that out and then solve for y. And you're going to get uh, add 1 to both sides. So you get 1 equals 4y. So y equals 1 fourth. So this equals 1 fourth. So write that down somewhere. And now let's do the h1. The h1 was h function. h of x equals log base 2 of 4x plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and change this to y. And then we are evaluating um, the inverse at 2 of h. So basically to find the inverse all you do is switch the x and the y. Do the x and do the y. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as um, an exponent. I'm going to write this in exponent form. So this is 2 to the x equals 4y plus 1. And now I'm going to plug in um, my 2 here. So I get uh, 4, because if you plug in 2 there, you get 2 squared is 4 equals 4y plus 1, subtract the 1, you get 3 equals 4y, so y is 3 fourths. All right, now, therefore, this equals 3 fourths. We are supposed to add um, the inverse of g at 5, which was 1 fourth plus the inverse of h at 2, which was 3 fourths, and that equals 1. Okay? Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.